Everybody, thank you for coming. Um, Phoebe's quarterly event. It's very, it's very tall for me. Obviously, you can see I'm very short. Well, I stand up. I, I am. <laughs> it's a tall version. Okay. Okay. So Wednesday, 19th September the, um, the 19th, 2012. Welcome. So the agenda today, we're really going to cover uh, the company uh, updates, prizes, which you all like that part. As you know, around the corner there, we have the uh, the uh, driving pod. We have the uh, golf pods. We know that Simon historically has done very well, so Simon has gracefully decided to um, you know, let everyone else have a chance this year. Thank you very much, Simon. Thank you. <laughs> so then we have new starters, people, social responsibilities, prizes to be won. So, what Phoebes is doing? Phoebes has actually been doing lots of things this year. Very interesting things in the back, in the back office um, in many ways. Um, Phoebes Mayland has been a, a new... Um, part of our journey in a merger acquisition, which is a gentleman called Paul Cressy. So, Paul Cressy? Ah. ah. <laughs> Shall I say a few words? Certainly, Hello. <laughs> Hi. Well, as uh, Mike said, Thebes Mayland has uh, just successfully completed three months trading. Uh, both Gary and Chris have come on board to work with me and both of those people have placed candidates in contract and permanent roles within key clients. Uh, from a personal point of view, I think we've had great support from accounts, from Simon and Carla, making everything work together for us. And uh, on the contract side, um, I think we slowly increase the contracts and uh, permanently. Feedback. Okay. Just indicative of Thebes Mayland. <laughs> and on the permanent side, um, I think at any given time we're working 20 live vacancies. Uh, so all is going well. Um, in terms of clients, uh, we're on a number of PSLs uh, and working well with them and building relationships with, with Rathbones, with, with Hendersons, with, with Sporting Bet, uh, NHS to name but a few and with Gary's Endeavours, uh, we've recently signed up to Thompson Reuters via Elan uh, and that's going well, permanent placement there, well done Gary. Hello, Gary. Yep, very good. Uh, we've also just signed up to a new uh, supplier contract with Resource Solutions to supply <coughs> contract staff to Standard Bank, our old friends. And uh, going forward, um, we've got a number of sort of joint ventures with Thebes looking at outsource for London Capital, uh, for Lloyd's Registry, uh, should be a big account for us. And uh, so the whole future is looking very rosy. Okay. Yeah. Hey. And the microphone stayed up. Okay, lovely. Thank okay. You. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. Okay. Okay. So, no, no, that one, no. Hello. Hi. By the way, this is our Jamaica team, people. Hey, Jamaica. Yeah. One, two, three, as they say. Welcome. Jimmy, can you hear us? Technology. That's why we have jobs, guys. Remember that. <laughs> We've got it, but we don't know how to use it. Remember that. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> so, without further ado, we shall continue. So, with Thebes itself, Mayland was one of our first uh, merge acquisitions, which went very well. We're actually currently working on uh, another three MAs, which is one is a company called Vicos, another is an executive recruitment company, and another one is a SAP um, um, vendor as well. So there's three other MAs to be concluded by the end of 2012. Um, those companies are in themselves, they've probably got about 10 people as employees. Turnovers or averages are around about five million each. So very exciting times in those companies. <laughs> Miles, Miles, all over to you. It's your P and L thread, is it? Something. Yeah. 
So basically, in terms of, I'm going to talk around thieves from a professional services um, angle. So in terms of how we're going to market and what the cornerstones of our delivery mechanism are. So fundamentally, if you look at thieves revenue streams, we're probably about 50% time and materials, 50% uh, um, service delivery in terms of either selling outcome based solutions, i.e. either working for an SLA or working to a fixed price project. Um, so clearly our the, the focus around is meeting needs of partners. So uh, there's a couple of um, new there's a couple of new partners that we've signed up. So one is Alphabet, which is an IT planning uh, piece of software, uh, basically high-level strategic piece of engagement that allows us to drill down, allows our clients to map their business processes against their technology and manage their risk and their um, life cycle of technology over a, a period of time. So we've just uh, done a joint uh, sorry a joint project with those guys or an engagement which Simon is pushing out in the market and get some good feedback on at the moment. So thank you very much, Simon. Um, so from a partner perspective, we are looking to uh, jointly go to market with one or two select partners. Again, we don't really want to have a portfolio of like 20 or 30 partners, but anything that's integral that pulls through service revenue is something we're very, very interested in. So in terms of how we're going to market, so meeting the needs of partners is how we combine with our vendors. The vendors we're looking for are business problem solvers. So basically, from a sales pitch or from an engagement model, is solving the business problem and then having the technology feed that sits below that. So from where Simon and Jackie are engaging, where's Jackie? Do you want to stand up, Jackie? Jackie's a new business delivery person. So, uh, so fundamentally, when these guys are going to market, but they're not going to market on a uh, time and materials basis or an engagement basis. It's actually solving business needs. Delivering measurable values via performance management is Jackie. Sorry, Jackie. Barbara, sorry. <laughs> yeah. So Barbara's here, and she'll talk a little bit around what she's doing later, but it really is around <coughs> performance management, the business, the KPIs that we need to meet our targets. Well, I'm just going to flick through these rather than sort of bend down every mm -hmm. two seconds. If, if you pardon the... So in terms of our capability, these are the key capabilities that we're looking at. So program and project management, so we have strong capability within Royal Bank of Scotland, Thomson Reuters. Enterprise management, which is around, does involve some end user computing, but it's fundamentally linked to uh, Alphabet technology. Uh, managed service desk, which is uh, an SLA driven service, which we're currently running at Standard Bank, we're just about to engage London Capital, and we have about another two deals in the pipeline. So again, this is outcome-based services rather than time and materials-based services. Unified communications is embryotic um, for us, but we do have a strong background um, within Thomson Reuters, but we're also engaging a company called Outsourcery. So effectively, we're putting that internally to have a unified comm solution for Thebes. Um, so we won't have to be doing Skype data comms, it will have one solution via Microsoft Link, which we'll be trying for the next six months, then we're taking that to market into the SME market, small medium enterprise. Alphabet I've already spoken about. Market data is something that we are currently engaged in predominantly a time and materials basis, but we've got three or four engagement possibilities from more of an outcome based service. So we are talking to RBS around that, but we have two opportunities which will be non time materials basis. So I'm looking forward to catching up with some of the RBS market data people over a few beers later. And obviously desktop support, which is a cornerstone. So end user computing in terms of, we have some people here, do you want to stand up, Craig and Callum? Who are part of our academy. So obviously so we believe in UK PLC. We think it's a great opportunity in terms of the talent that's available out there that's um, not currently and getting the opportunity to work. And we think, you know, again, that from our perspective, that's something we really want to mine. So what we like to say is we really want to hire people in from an A-level perspective, get them before they go to university so they can pass their PES checks without credit failing. So, um. <laughs> And I think this is back over to Mike. He's the right height for this bit. <laughs> Do you start as Tressa? Tressa, where's Tressa? Do you start as Tressa? Yeah. Tressa left a couple of years ago and there's a comeback. You know, she couldn't stay away from us. And uh, Tressa's come back and um, set the world on fire, did great. Tressa, great to have you back. Really loving it. Okay. 
Thank you. Barbara Connolly. Yay! Woo! Woo! Trevor Looms. Woo! Yeah, Woo! Yeah. <coughs> and we have uh, Jackie Heron. Yay! Yay! We also have um, a new starter coming in Jamaica, but that's not yet. That will be happening in the foreseeable, so that will uh, be another stand up when we get the technology working. We've also had, we've had new starters at these current client sites. Standard Bank, we've new starters, RBS, and Thompson Reuters. This is Phoebes. We're going to have a little read. That's the history of Phoebes. Not us, but the history of itself. Barbara doing and unfortunately for whatever reason we seem to be having slight transmission problems so um, thankfully we are recording this and we will translate it back to them and send it back to them so they are part of the team but I think something we need to remind ourselves of and I'm passionate as is Mike and Miles and hopefully everyone in this room is passionate about as people because without us Steve's doesn't exist despite civilization and the backgrounds so the, one of the cornerstones of people is around passion-led innovation and results. And whilst we ourselves individually may have all those three qualities, and I trust we do, sometimes maybe as Steve's as an organisation, maybe we haven't demonstrated that as strongly or as well as we could have done. Um, but times are changing, as they say. Um, no longer the, the era of the pyramids, it's now the era of people, not technology. So the three things that we're focusing on and have focused on and will drive through in the next three months is around our people base. And it's both for our full-time employees and for our contractors, which form part of Thebes family, be it Thebes IT, be it Thebes Mayland, be it other parts of the group. Because we have to operate as one team, and I'm sure you'd all agree as that. So the three pieces that we're focused on at the moment is around contractors will now be contacted and I'm not sure if any, everyone here has had a phone call, but calls are in place for people to have phone calls. And I'll be interested if there's any feedback. If you've had a call, calls should be being made. Just check feedback from people as to how work is, can we help, and more importantly, how is things going? For our full-time employees around appraisals, it's not just good enough to have an appraisal, it's more about the feedback and more coaching and development and how do we bring our commitment to life. And the newsletter, I hope everyone here has received the newsletter. It is our first edition of The New Way. Um, and we'd be really keen for your feedback to make it something more personal for you. And we don't want it to be HQ-led, we want it to be business-led. So again, give us your feedback on that, if that's okay. And for us, the only way we're going to grow is probably just bringing new business in if the people aren't understanding of what we're trying to do and how we build. So with your help, hopefully we'll deliver that. And from a social responsibility perspective, hopefully this is a reminder for all of us, it's not just about money, it's about what we do. And these are the passions of Thebes group from a sponsorship and from a support point of view, which is Sickle Cell and World Vision. Um, and we'll be looking to do some charity work and to see how we can support and, and prosper through our social responsibility as well as through our business responsibility. And it's, you know, what's the point without a prize, I hear you say. And for some people this might mean more than others. For me personally, the golf is not for me. <laughs> but that's okay, I'm happy to defer. Um, so we do have prizes. Well, I'm going to jump in there quickly. Thank you, darling. There are prizes, but first of all, we're going to do, hello? Check, it's off, obviously. Well done, for cutting it off. You're all right, all right. Right. Okay, I don't need my <laughs> Before we go to prizes, I want to basically uh, give a, uh, a, 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 a prize for somebody who's basically been really, really doing a fantastic job inside Thebes. And I mean, they've been doing it unconditionally, they've been... Thanks, <laughs> 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 <Mate's> Miles. <laughs> 
And, and really, you know, it, it's outside their scope, you know, we basically understand that, the, um, that they, we need them to be involved in their job day to day, but their work ethic is um, pickable. I mean, they're just like, really dedicated in their everyday duty that they do inside the business. So more importantly, I want to recognise this individual for the work they've done and the effort they've put into their job. And that gentleman is a gentleman called Kevin Bogle. All right, <laughs> come on here, Kevin. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And I, and I say it from the company, and I say it from and I, and the team. This guy, trust me, he, he is Phoebes. He, he leads the company and he really, really does back us all the way. He's on site. He represents us. He's a great ambassador for us. And, um, you know, you're, you're a great leader of uh, the work to follow. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. So, what I want to say, Kevin, I want to say for you and your, um, your wife, I want to give you a weekend. Yeah. The Mayfair Hotel in London, yeah, in a With Mike. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm the first, first time only. And also have a, a meal at the Benetiers, which is a lovely uh, restaurant across the road, or Scott's, which is a lovely fish restaurant right now. And uh, that's to say thank you very much. Thank you, I appreciate it. Cheers, Mr. Albert. Woo! Doing Bible, people. Just to say thank you, thank you for this. It's uh, totally unexpected, uh, appreciated, and uh, yeah, keep on good work, everyone. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> right. On to the prizes, we've actually looked at uh, I think called diversity. Well, the word to use is inclusion because diversity is quite a wide word. You know, it's the the authorities to work it out. So we said to ourselves. On the prizes, we said, okay. So for the girls and the guys. Guys is mild, what do you say? What we're thinking about. So, so normally there's longest drive, nearest the pin, and the driving. Yeah. So what we're going to do this time is for the... So we're going to do two prizes for the longest drive. So we're going to do a male and female prize this time. So rather than... <laughs> so... So the longest drive price for the males is around the golf. The longest drive price for the females is um, the theatre tokens. And there's the pin will just be a bit of fun. And for the driving, it's going to be the Kindle. Yeah. 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 The driving is for the Kindle. So guys, thank you. Enjoy. Enjoy. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, 
And finally, for the longest drive, Mel, Mel from Manchester, that's 200 miles. Yeah. Yeah. In one, in one, right, is Eddie Medley. Yeah. 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 Yeah.